Sal Mineo, a well-known actor, made a lasting contribution to the entertainment world through his diverse body of work. Whether you're recalling your favorite moments from his movies or thinking about the important parts of his career, Mineo's influence is clear. Share your favorite memories or personal stories about this iconic actor in the comments below. Stay tuned as we reveal interesting, surprising, and heartfelt facts about his life. Your stories are important, and we'd love to hear them. Born on January 10, 1939, in the Bronx, New York, Sal Mineo's early life paved the way for a career in the entertainment industry. Growing up in a working-class Italian-American family, he faced the challenges of the time. His parents, Salvador and Josephine, provided crucial support for his acting ambitions. As a child, Mineo's natural talent and charm shone through. Encouraged by his mother, he joined a theater group showcasing his acting skills in local productions. These early experiences fueled a passion that would shape his life. A significant turning point in Mineo's career was his role as Plato in the 1955 film Rebel Without a Cause alongside James Dean. This breakout performance earned him a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, making him the youngest actor at that time to receive such recognition. The success of Rebel Without a Cause propelled him into the limelight, and he continued to build on his momentum. He displayed versatility in roles, from playing the troubled youth in crime in the streets to portraying the doomed ex-convict in Somebody Up There Likes Me. Each performance showcased his ability to embody diverse characters and captivate audiences. Despite early success, Mineo faced challenges as Hollywood grappled with issues of typecasting and limited opportunities for actors like him. Undeterred, he explored new avenues, turning to stage performances and directing. These endeavors highlighted his determination to break free from stereotypes and expand his artistic horizons. However, as his career progressed, Mineo encountered personal and professional hardships. Despite these challenges, he persevered, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment world. His journey reflects the complexities of navigating fame, artistic expression, and personal identity in the ever-changing world of show business. In conclusion, Minio's early life and background laid the foundation for a career marked by both triumphs and challenges. From his humble beginnings in the Bronx to becoming a celebrated actor, his journey remains a compelling chapter in entertainment history. In the Gene Krupa story, Sal Mineo brought Gene Krupa's character to life, leaving a lasting impression on the audience. The film premiered at the Schiller Theater in Chicago on January 15, 1960, with both Mineo and Krupa in attendance to greet fans. Mineo's collaboration with Krupa showcased his ability to take on diverse roles and immerse himself in the acclaimed drummer's story. In the movie Rebel Without a Cause, Mineo played play toe, Crawford alongside James Dean, Natalie Wood, and Nick Adams. The tight bond formed during filming, including Mineo's nuanced portrayal, contributed to the film's impact. In a memorable scene in an empty mansion, Mineo, carrying candles lit by a wire through his jacket, added a unique touch to the atmosphere, reflecting his commitment to his craft. Minio's journey from growing up in the Bronx to his performances in films like Rebel Without a Cause and the Gene Krupa story showcases an actor who navigated the challenges of Hollywood. Early struggles with typecasting and limited opportunities led him to explore new horizons such as stage performances and directing. Despite personal and professional hardships, Minio's determination to break free from stereotypes and expand his artistic horizons left a lasting impression on the entertainment world. In conclusion, Minio's career highlights the resilience needed to navigate fame, artistic expression, and personal identity in the ever-changing world of show business. His versatility, displayed in roles like Gene Krupa and Play Toe Crawford, adds to his impact in the entertainment industry. In 1957, Sal Minio ventured into a new avenue, trying his hand at a career as a rock and roll singer. His singles, Start Movin' and Lasting Love, found success on the U.S. Top 40, with the former reaching 9 and the latter securing the 27 spot. An album on the Epic label followed, while in the United Kingdom, the records reached the audience through the Phillips label. Later, in the film Somebody Up There Likes Me, he portrayed Romolo alongside Paul Newman, despite the significant age difference. Their on-screen dynamic added depth to the storyline, emphasizing Minio's ability to engage audiences with diverse characters. Not limited to acting, he directed and starred in the controversial homosexual prison drama Fortune and Men's Eyes in Los Angeles in 1969. The play, a hit at the time, featured him as Rocky, a hardcore prisoner, 
and Don Johnson as his innocent young blonde victim. Throughout his career, his versatility shone in roles like Gene Krupa in The Gene Krupa Story and play Toe Crawford in Rebel Without a Cause. His commitment to diverse characters and his journey from a working-class upbringing in the Bronx to the limelight of Hollywood showcased an actor navigating challenges with resilience and determination. His foray into the music scene and exploration of varied roles across film and stage highlighted his talent. Not just in his acclaimed performances, but also in his willingness to break free from stereotypes and expand artistic horizons. The entertainment industry clearly reflects his influence, not just in his successful performances, but also in his willingness to break free from stereotypes and expand artistic horizons. Amidst the highs of Sal Mineo's career, dark shadows lurked. His tragic end shocked many as rumors surrounded his murder. A 17-year-old named Lionel Ray Williams, fueled by drugs, became an unwitting perpetrator. Unaware of Mineo's identity, Williams sought only the money. Convicted and sentenced to life, Williams found parole in 1990. In an odd turn, during Sal's peak fame in 1957, Bob Hope made a jest on TV, claiming Bronx schools would close for his birthday. Despite Hope's intent to amuse, youngsters took it seriously, leading to a spike in absenteeism. Hope later retracted, urging kids to stay in school. Not just confined to acting, Minio left a drumming legacy. Assisting Bobby Sherman's music debut, he gifted drums. Struggling later on, Minio's lover sought reimbursement from Sherman. Responding generously, Sherman's manager sent 3,000 aiding Minio's financial woes. In the early months of 1962, Sal Minio engaged in a unique artistic collaboration. He posed nude for Harold Stevenson, the artist known for his bold homoerotic creations. Stevenson's gift of a painting to Minio became a centerpiece at the Richard Fajan Gallery in New York and Chicago in 1964, showcasing a different side of him beyond his on-screen persona. During the filming of Cheyenne Autumn, Minio's connections went beyond acting. When film critic Peter Bogdanovich visited the set, he recommended Larry McMurtry's book The Last Picture Show. Seven years later, Bogdanovich turned the recommendation into a film, with Minio's foresight influencing cinematic history indirectly. The interconnectedness of Hollywood's behind-the-scenes dynamics played a subtle but pivotal role in shaping Minio's and others' careers. In another cinematic venture, the film Krakatoa East of Java, Minio found himself amidst interesting anecdotes. Eric Williams, a companion during the Spain shoot, shared a revealing tale. His spontaneous escapade with an actress portraying a missionary nun added a touch of scandal, echoing the unpredictable nature of Minio's personal life beyond the screen. These instances highlight Minio's connections within the entertainment industry, not just limited to his on-screen performances. His interactions with artists, directors, and fellow actors reveal a web of influence that extended far beyond his roles, reflecting the dynamic nature of Hollywood collaborations.